Yeah. This should work. All right. Now let's get to the. We'll put our fondant over here. Actually, quite, it tastes quite nice. So these trousers are gonna be beautiful. So what we're gonna do is take this house. We're gonna take the front door like so. Squeeze a little bit of loveliness. Squeeze out a little bit of loveliness here. Would it like to cooperate? Oh yeah, look at this. It's mostly air in this bag, actually. That's a shame. In fact, it's not actually... <laughs> this is the best gingerbread house on the market. Alright, we'll take our fingers run it along there. This is the best, this is the best craftsmanship. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. This is wretched. And you see a proper foundation is the key. Look at that. Now we'll do some of the backside work here. Nice. Look at this. This is perfect. You see I'm going to mold it Squeeze it in here. There we go. That is 10 out of 10 foundation work. Now I'm gonna. Hmm. I'll be back in one moment here. I gotta tidy up a bit. Okay, here we are. We are back with our gingerbread making house. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the first wall in. Now this is gonna be difficult because you see. So you can see uh, up close, the holes don't actually match the actual gingerbread house, so... Oh dear god, the supports are giving out here. Now we're going to have to carefully squeeze... Oh yeah, like that. Alright, here we are, we are back with our gingerbread house and it's not looking good. We are going to use the best tool to help us with this construction. The always lovely spoon. Now you see, spoon is legendary for its craftsmanship ability. Watch this as I squeeze. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There we go. Get in there, you. There we go. That is great. Now let's fix up this little bit. There you go. One with the gingerbread house, my friend. One with the gingerbread house. Actually, we'll scoop this up like a pro. Line it up a bit. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like glue. It's like glue. In fact, I probably could use actual glue and it would still not work. Okay, so we're going to take this part of the house and we're going to stick it on right there. And then you'll begin to see what a house should actually look like. And actually, it's a bit lopsided, so we'll... There, well, move it over a bit. Lovely. This one's going to need some structural help here. We're going to have to bend the foundation a little bit to our will. There you go, see? Chisel. There you go. Bend the foundation to our will, and it shall be ours. Oh, look at that. That balance is not good. Okay. <laughs> it's actually turning out quite well, I gotta say, for its rough start. Come on now, you silly bag. And here we are, watch a pro at its work. Oh, yeah. And we'll take our spoon of destiny. Look at that. Look at you. Beautiful. Look at that. That Doesn't that look amazing? It's almost practically just like the box. Now here, we'll shove it into the old foundation there. Nice. Come on now. You get close and mingle with that wall. You don't want it to make it feel awkward on the first day. There we are. We'll scoop out some more icing, because it's almost more efficient at this point to do that. Okay, so you see the first key step to finishing a great gingerbread house is the roof. So we're going to do that. 
Kind of like that. That's the plan. Now what the idea is, what we're going to do here, is what we should have been doing the whole time. We're going to squeeze out some icing here, like that. Yeah. Looky, looky. We're going to use our molding spoon. So it's an efficient tool for a gingerbread man to build things with. For all these, uh, for all the gingerbread men watching this uh, tutorial at home, I recommend, as you can see, we're scraping it on along the ridges, and that's the idea here. Is we're gonna plant it on top, and uh, just like scoop it out with our foundation spoon, plant it, lather, and done. Watch and learn. This is great, great stuff here. I, I hope to bring hope to all gingerbread makers out there. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. And we are going to hold it here. Let it jingle and mingle with the rest of the roof. Holy smokes. This is turning out to be great. Now as you can see, the roof it provides this nice, uh, we're, we're gonna have to add a gutter at some point, but that, pff, save that for later. So, overall, the roof is turning out nice, we're gonna have to line it with some fondant and some sugary goodies, but first, we're gonna have to put the other side on. Now, let's rearrange all this stuff here. Take a molding spoon, there we go, look at this. Now, this is the back side, Okay, so we'll do the same thing, and uh, don't think I need to repeat or show what uh, what I'm about to do. So we will get back to you, and we're done.